to record too. All right. So I was told that I should react to this video as someone who's up and coming, but someone who's actually put a lot of time and effort into trying to get out in this space. Someone who's tried to make a stand in this space and try to hit the thing. And I've had some okay videos. I, I didn't have any viral success, but I feel like I could still give some valuable feedback on this. And a lot of my community thinks that as well. So we're going to dive in and we are going to take a look at this. Ludwig, I, for, uh, poo, 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 poo. Ludwig released a video said, I asked a hundred streamers how to be successful. So let's take a look into this and uh, get going. I made a video three years ago about how to be a streamer, and it covered a lot of the bases that you will need, and a lot of the stuff here is going to be repetitive information. But I also have something different this time. This time, it's not just me who's going. So, if you guys haven't watched that video from way yonder, um, you should go do that. By the way, I think I should. Let me pause the recording real quick. That that is a face on Ludwig right there. Let me tell you. That is, that is a face only a mother could love. Anyway, let's continue. I'm going to be telling you how to be a streamer. I've gone ahead and I've asked a hundred of my friends, a hundred fellow okay. streamers on advice for somebody who's up and coming okay. or trying to become a streamer. So I have more info for you this time. It's not just me. Mm -hmm. I literally went out and asked 100 streamers okay. for advice and I put it all into a PowerPoint presentation, which I'm calling my ultimate guide to streaming 2024 edition. So there is one point that I don't know the, the the thumbnail brought it up and I'm not sure if it's actually in the video, but if it doesn't, I'll address it at the end. But one of the points that was said in the thumbnail, I, I do think is a actual true point. Let's get into it, class. All you will need is a pen and I paper love the and setup, a positive by the attitude. Way. Step one on becoming a streamer. Stop watching this video if you have not yet gone live. I'm being serious. Go live, you lazy fucker. <laughs> if you have never even attempted to stream before and you are watching this video on how to be a streamer, you're not serious about it. You know, he's got a point. There's a lot of people that talk the talk but don't want to walk the walk. There's a lot of people that will sit there and criticize you without even trying to try do something like this yourself. Your first stream will always be ass. Your 100 stream will probably be ass. It takes time. Trust me, as someone who's still going, and this stream is a perfect example, my uh, video and me trying to play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep is not working. Therefore, stream is turned ass. And this is a problem that's not exclusive to streaming. This is a problem that happens in every single hobby you want to pursue. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be a runner? Oh, well, I'm going to look up a bunch of videos on how I should run and how I should train running before I do it. Oh, you want to start working out? I'm, well, you know, I'm going to look up a bunch of videos on how to work out before I yeah. start working out. Just do the damn just thing. Just do it. Just yeah. do it. Just do it. Because that's the hardest step is just doing it. And you'll mm -hmm. make a million excuses and you'll put a hundred barriers between you and doing the thing. I don't have the right technology. My equipment's not good enough. He's got a point. There's a lot of streamers out there that just work with it. I know a bunch of people who started with just laptops and a crappy 480p webcam. They may do. And they, they're they pretty good off. They're full-time streamers. I'm trying to be that, but I ain't that. But he's got a point. You could start with nothing. Well, a, a PC and you know a webcam and a mic. But you could start with the cheap stuff and work your way up. It really comes down to you. No. I don't have anyone who'd watch me right now. I don't even know what I'd stream. Just fucking do it. Yep, If you're just not do even going to try one single stream, then you are not serious about this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to prove to you that you're not serious because the biggest streamer in the world right now is a guy named Jinxie. And for a full year. Also, I just saw what you said, by the way. And I don't know how to feel about that. Unless you're Joe's computer, then you can't stream because it blows up. He streams on yep. Twitch to an average viewership of two. 639 hours streamed mm -hmm. to an average viewership of two. two. Three and a half hours live with a peak viewership of one. That's Jinxie, man. So if you're not willing to be Jinxie, I don't think you're serious about being a streamer. Be Jinxie. Be Jinxie streamed to two. Got it. All it comes down is the effort and the bizarre technological issue that causes you months of delay along the way. Exactly. Go you live. Come back to this video after you've learned just a little bit. If you've already gone live, congratulations. All right, yeah, congrats. You can continue yep. watching this video. You now, did a big step. The second question you might be asking, <laughs> Ludwig, why should I listen to Ah, uh, yes. Why, why me? There's a lot of information out there. A lot of people whose entire channels are devoted to how to be a streamer. Why me? Yeah, well, why I had you? some success along the way. Uh -huh. I am the second most subscribed to 
uh, Twitch streamer ever of all time behind Kai Sinai. Yeah, true. I won streamer of the year uh -huh. a year or two ago. You know, some successes along the way. This is not me mm -hmm. boasting, by mm -hmm. the way. I also have the record for the most Twitch subscribers lost by anyone ever, and I still hold that record. Yeah. But I big head, big cap. He, he gained the most amount at one point, and he lost the most amount. Big brain, big brain. You gotta have both categories, just saying. I've had some success streaming, and I care about imparting that because I know as a fact I will not be a big streamer forever. One day I mm -hmm. will completely fall off, or I'll quit entirely because I'm scared of falling off. Yeah. Right? One of them's gonna Fair enough. So I might as well get rid of all the information I have because somebody who's watching this video right now will be replacing me as the biggest streamer in the world one day. Or they'll be a top streamer. I, I, I've, I've seen people I hope. who made it big who I would argue are doing shit that I'm not doing that are very good. I, I hope. That would be nice. My A lot of people ask me what my goal is. Number one goal is I'm going to be a little selfish here. I want to pay off my debts and I want to pay off my family's debts. Besides that, I want to help people. I want to do charity events. I want to do stuff that give back to the community. Just do stuff that makes people laugh or give. You, you, you guys know all this. You all know. Who have mentioned me and I'm very flattered by that fact. So I might as well impart the wisdom while I have it. Extra Emily, I think, is a streamer who I think is fucking killing it right now. And she's mentioned me as someone who inspired her. And I'm flattered by that because she's doing shit that I'm not doing. Mm. Every damn stream, she's doing something crazy. She makes crack cocaine on the streets of Austin. What? Yes? This is a family of establishment. Uh -huh. You're not allowed to put crack in the parking lot. <laughs> oh, I'm cooking steak. What? I'm cooking steak. So anyway. Yeah, no, 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 no. She's cooking crack in the family parking lot. What kind? Ma'am, this is a family restaurant. You can't be cooking crack out in the parking lot give you the wisdom I have, and if you don't trust my opinion, what well, good news for you, I also shit. asked 100 streamers how to stream. This is real. I made a Google form. I asked all the questions that I okay. would want to know if I just started streaming, and I asked now the we're getting to the you could possibly. This is where I think a lot of information might be helpful, but I think a lot of it's personally going to be thrown against the wall and pointless, to be honest. Because a lot of it, my personal opinion, a lot of, a lot of others is luck. It comes down to luck. Some, but like, I'd say about a good 75%. You think of. And this is true. I did ask 100 streamers. That's going to be the title of this YouTube video. I did ask 100 streamers. Disclaimer, uh, 100 people didn't answer me. Okay? I did ask. I did ask 100 Damn. people. Damn! It just turns it got out that only 30% of All them All right, so we're not going to get big pool. Not a horrible percentage, by the way. If you're in the MLB and you're batting 30%, that's not bad. That's pretty. That's pretty good. You know? uh, so uh, a lot of dono walls there. A lot of egos hurt along the way. Yeah, but, I bet. But I did ask for you guys. I mean, these are the names of the people who replied to me. And, and if you just took a quick look there, there are a lot of Pete's in streamers. there. And let's start with the very basic question: What are the perks of being a streamer? Perks of being now, a this streamer. This one might seem simple. You okay. Guys could probably list a few off the top. And the biggest one that most people will think of is money. That yeah. Is the biggest perk that most people would think of. It helps. When you think of a streamer, you think of money. Yep, everyone's spamming it in chat right now. That's true. And I'm going to reveal something here that I think I'm illegally uh, allowed to reveal because I'm no longer a, a Twitch exclusive streamer. I wasn't able to reveal this last time. Here's how much money I made my last year on Twitch. Again, this is not a flex. I'm just trying mm -hmm. to show you. This is, this mm -hmm. is why people... It's going to hurt, it's gonna hurt like a flex, but... The aspect. There nope. it is. That was my last year on Twitch. That hurts me. Ow! $2.5 million. I don't know what I would do with that. I, well, first of all, all my debt would have been paid off. Non-stop. It would have 100% been paid off. God. 2021, I made $2.5 million. Now, bear in mind that money oh does my include God. Money, So, kind of does inflate it a little bit. Yeah, that's a big chunk of it. That's a big chunk of it. I would argue like half of it. They, those of are money. all perks. People, you know, they like the idea of streaming because the amount of money you can make. You also have a pretty... Yeah, that's... Oh, my God. I'll spend it for you. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah th those aren't perks. Lack of sleep, worry about algorithms, worry, period. They're, they're, they're not perks. Cool job. You get to game for a living. I mean, that is the core of what streaming is. It is gaming. Literally, for my job, last week, I got to play stick RPG and gamble in a fake cartoon universe where I was trying to sell cocaine to Girl Scouts who <laughs> robbed me. That's what I did for my job. That's what I did. It was pretty fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, it was That's pretty what good. I got to pretty do. good. You also mm -hmm. get to be like a D-list, F-list celebrity. D-list D celebrity. Here you go. Meet cool people and have fans. Yeah, I guess.
Celebrity, you're not famous. Don't fucking delude yourself if you're a streamer. <laughs> but if you walk into a GameStop and you're a big streamer, holy shit, they're going to recognize you. Macy's, <laughs> Banana Republic, not no, so much. Not, not so much. But but Best but Buy, you know, we, those are our places. That's where the people know us. <laughs> stick to the places where people know you if you really want some, uh, you know. I thought it was trying to fix the stream. No, 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 we game on here. We game, believe it or not. We game on this channel. And you get to even meet some cool people. A lot of the people that I liked watching, I got to meet. I got to hang out with. And now I also get to work with. These are the cool things about streaming. Yep, but everybody knows this. Everybody knows all the cool shit that comes with streaming. Yeah, they all know the cool people stuff. People don't think about some of the negatives. So I'm going to bring up a couple here. One, being a micro celebrity isn't always great. Because sometimes you have haters. And I brought an example yeah. of a hater here for you today. My biggest hater that I've had for about three years now. A guy who will DM me almost every week some mean shit. March 7th, 2022. Ain't no way your ass drive a Vespa. I got COVID a few days ago. It's because of your stupid Vespa. Stop driving the Vespa. Still at it. Just got Dolly. LMFAO. Okay, this picture does make me laugh. It does make me laugh, but still. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I, I like that. That's, that's pretty good. What is that good. about? What is that? I'm just minding my own business. It's 1.10 a.m. Holy shit, you did it. I'm so proud. Sometimes it does come full circle. Doesn't mean the hating stops. God, I, f I hope I find your name on Epstein's <laughs> Island. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, you get the idea. Obviously, this is more of a funny hater, but there are very real haters. What there are very the real fuck? Consequences to even being a micro celebrity, and there are a lot of people whose lives are worse because of the attention they get, and they don't really like it. Okay. That's exactly. With that, I will say, like Pokemane's a good example. She gets a lot of hate. I personally don't like her, and I don't like stuff she does. I don't. I just don't. But I'm not gonna knock on her. She does what she's got to do. But she's a perfect example of what people hate or will easily hate on. When you become big, you will get hate on. It's just a fact of life. Even me doing some of my uh, reviews or doing shorts on YouTube at 10,000 viewers. Correction, 10,000 subscribers. I get hate all the time. Stuff you guys don't see. I get plenty of hate. Because why? I'm being me and people don't like that. That's So that's one thing. Another thing, big streamers tend to work a lot, right? These are my 30 surveyed streamers. I asked them how often mm -hmm. they work in a week. And the blue is zero to 20 hours. You might notice there is no blue. In fact, an equal amount of people work 20 to 39 hours a week, as do 80. Shit, I would love to work 40 to 59 hours a week. Shit, so my, my lowest week, I think, is 40. And the high week of my regular job, I think I, um, what is it? Let's see, five times 12. Yeah, I work about 80 hours one week. Or what is it? Five times 12. That's like, what? Six. That's like 60, 70 hours a week. Almost some, some weeks. I work that. I would love to be in that 40 to 59 hour. That gives me still Plus plenty of hours. time to do stuff. And I don't think they're bullshitting when they're putting these replies in. Because you can literally track the hours of some of these streamers. There are people who are average. Joe, don't lie to you. Joe, <laughs> don't let Joe lie to you. We don't have to wait until he gets big to hate Slide. on him. You're right. 10 That's hours what a day for, for the entire year, 365 days a year. It's easy enough to go work, Lamel. This isn't even a real job. Whatever. That's fine. The reality is, though, if you were to do that, mm. it would drain you and you would basically lose everything else in your life along the way. And I have seen streamers do this. They lose everything else on the way because all they do is stream. It is their life. Yep. They're not gaining new life experiences. They're just sharing all their life experiences online. And as opposed to a job where you are told how often you are supposed to come in mm -hmm. by somebody, you make your own hours. And the more hours you work, the more money you make. But you only make money while you're live. So might as well. Yeah, that's that's also the the duality. That's the dual side of the coin. Yeah, you don't have to work 50, 60 hours a week, but you set your own schedule, and every time you're live is when you make your income and start making content that you can turn into YouTube videos, that you can do this, that you can do that. It's one big round circle, which is why I'm rotating my head. It's just one big circle. We'll be live as often as you can. Still, those negatives aren't that bad like all things considered this is still better than working at a call center ludwig damn right it's really not that bad so why doesn't everybody stream 
You make a lot of money, play video game, hang out with German 985? But yes, yes, me, sign me up, man, sign me up. Well, let's do a little experiment. I want you to think of a streamer. In fact, type one in chat. Think of a streamer. It can be anyone in the world. Think of a streamer. There's a bunch of huge streamers that you guys are, are, are listening right now. Maybe you thought of one of these names. Sorry, Ninja, for using this picture. <laughs> that's a, these are that's a that's a pretty shitty picture that he chose of fucking of uh, Ninja right there. Good Lord. Streamers you think of. But I think that's a bit of a mistake. Because if all you are thinking mm -hmm. about when you think of the title of streamer is the people who have not only made it, but made it to such a high degree that they are the top of the top of the top 1111%, then you're not really envisioning what your life will be like if you try streaming. So I'm gonna show you someone. I'm gonna show you this guy right here. Does anyone recognize this streamer? I don't see a single person in chat who's instantly recognizing this streamer. I did yeah, some research. I mean, yesterday. I don't I blame. Look up I don't know who he is. Ten thousandth biggest streamer in the world. So that's what I did. And right now you are looking at Mister Ten Thousand Omni Kevka. If you go to Twitch Tracker and you go to the very last page possible, technically it's number nine thousand nine hundred ninety-five, but I rounded up. You will find Mister Ten Thousand, a guy who averages two hundred sixty-eight viewers, who streams really intense gaming sessions that can last twenty-four hours. Good uh, lord! Playing games like Ark in more recently Power World. And, huh. and let's just go through a few stats here. Mr. 10,000 averages 262 viewers, streams an average of seven and a half hours every... So, this is his average across the... This, uh, he's about to explain all this. Um, This is going to be eight hours, roughly. We'll just round it up to eight. And in an eight-hour span, he gets an average of 262 viewers. Might go up, might go down. Might be from raids, it might be from people showing in it, but on average, that's what he get. And he sits at 388 Twitch points a month. So if we do the math here, which I think Ludwig's going to go into this, I'm not sure, but we're going to do this. Let's just, let's just say they're all tier one, because there might be tier twos, tier threes in there. So at the 50-50 split that he, I'm assuming he's affiliate, um, he might be partner, but I think partner's now at 50-50 split too. So let's do... This goes 388 times 5. So he makes $2,000 without the split. It's 1940. So 1940 divided by 0. 0.5 or uh, times 0. 0.5. Oh, so let's say equal divided by 0. 0.5. No, times 0. 0.5. So he makes $1,000 a month just on Twitch. He makes about $970. You can't live off that. Every single day for the course of 2023, it has 388 sub points on Twitch. Here's him explaining what he does in his own words. I've got my own style. You know what I mean? I'm a fat dude with long hair. <laughs> gotten fatter as I streamed. Um, but I'm grinding. I'm grinding. The yeah, I get that. The way that I, I stream is by gaming hard. Multiple 24-hour streams in the last couple of days, casually, all the time. One, mm -hmm. I, I'm a video gamer that streams. There's I get a that. lot of streamers that play video games. You know what I mean? But I wanted my story to be, I play hardcore. Now, this dude's fucking dope. That, that's cool. I, I like that. I like that. that hours. Yesterday, he has a great community. And, and yes, he does game hardcore. And he's been gaming hardcore for a long time. This guy's been streaming longer than Twitch Tracker track stats. Longer than Good. I have been streaming. My wow. And is what you should be thinking of. When you think of being a streamer, because yeah. Omni Kevka is a very successful streamer. He is in the top 0.08% mm -hmm. of streamers in the world. In last month, 7.3 million people went live. He was more successful than 7.29 That's million That's amazing. People. So don't delude yourself into thinking streaming is being Kai. Streaming is being Valkyrie. Streaming is being Ninja. So that right there, it shows you the gravity of it. Because even he is beating out 7 million people on Twitch. And he's still not full-time. You can't be full-time with that much. Streaming is being Omni Kevka. And it is possible to be the biggest. But for the most part, people like Omni Kevka are what makes up the streaming world. And mm -hmm. they don't get the same attention and critical acclaim that the big people who get the millions of dollars do. Agreed. Because all the eyes go to those people. But the reality is if you were to start streaming, your life would be a lot more similar to a streamer like Omni Kefka, who's grinding. And mm -hmm. in his own words said he was in the minds of Twitch. 
and he still gets to play video games for a living, and it still gets to pay his bills, and he still gets to hang out with cool people in his chat, but don't delude yourself. Yep. Don't think that starting the, the, the go live button means you will end up being Valkyrie, means you will end up being Kai, because mm -hmm. that's not what streaming is. It is a grind. Okay. And I've had to explain that. There's a lot of people that come up to me, and they're like, oh, you're famous now, right? You make loads of money because you're, you're at 10,000 plus subscribers on YouTube. You're this. You're that. No, I don't make money. I, th that's one thing I have to tell people. Yeah, I make a couple bucks here and there realistically, but this isn't my living. I work a 12-hour shift job to pay the bills. I do this for fun. I do this as a way to reach out and talk to people, how to you know, interact with the cool people, like Love would say, a cool community. I have, personally, I love my community the best. I'm biased. I love, love, love my community. But you guys aren't paying my bills, and I don't expect you to pay my bills. This is something that, like, the schmo doubloons. Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, that's why, like... Where is my chat? Yeah, chat, where are you? Where is my chat? My chat's not up here. Now I gotta... Hold on, let me pause it. Now we're back live. But yes, I do this because I want to talk to you guys. I just want to share my moments. I want to share my gaming experience. I try to grind as best as I can, but I split my grind between YouTube and twitch so whatever i do on twitch ends up going on youtube whether it be vods or it becomes a video depending okay it is a grind now before we start the actual session on how to be a streamer we're going to do a task and i did this last time we're going to do it again because i'm i'm you know I, this is one of the few kind of hippie things that i believe in one which of is the few hippie things your goals and the way to do that is by writing them down and i want this on pen and paper okay i want this on pen and paper i did okay. this when I first started streaming over six years ago, I'm going to have you guys do this today. All right. And, and in fact, I write all of my goals on something I can easily access on my desk. And it's on this this little picture of me. On the back of it, I have all my goals. Now, you're going to write three things on this piece of paper. All right. Section we're going to do this, guys. I want you to write your goals with streaming. Now, the goal can be different. It can be broad. It can be bold. It can be simple. But it should be honest. If you're going to say that your goal is to have an altruistic community that you are that you just like making laugh, is that real? Be genuine with yourself. Nobody's in the room with you. Do you actually just want to be fucking right. rich in a big streamer and famous? That's fine. Let's let's just be honest with ourselves. Today, I wrote okay? my goal so down. Let's write our goals down. And I'm going to say one more thing. Goals can be bad, right? I think goals are valuable because they hold you accountable. But just because you achieve your goal does not mean you're done. And just because you don't hit your goal doesn't mean you fail. All right, roll my goal down. It's something to hold you accountable along the way. Okay. And it can be as simple as my goal is to go live three, four times a week, whatever it is. So write your goal down, whatever it is. Okay, it's Second done. Second thing I want you to write, I want you to write some inspiration. I think this is really valuable to do. So, okay, so I'm going to write down inspiration. And I'm going to write, I'm going to say out loud my inspiration here. No, Joe, having a hot tub stream can't be your goal. At 1,000 on Twitch. I've already said it. It's going to happen inspiration I gotta think of a third streamer because when you first start out you're forming some sort of identity and anytime you watch a streamer in their early career even hmm. very successful it would be streamers, another streamer like that Liam, want to for be example, like the speedrunner you can tell they pulled some inspiration from other people you know Liam had some similarities to Clint Stevens. So I want you to list three streamers hmm. that you like in how you would like to stream like, right? So don't just list three streamers that you like that do something you would never do. For example, like don't list, you know, hmm. Tarek Kaede Tens and then you're like, oh, I don't play Valorant. List three streamers that you like that do something you would like to do. Hmm. And then the final thing I would like you to list is why. Why do you want to do this? And this is the part where I want you to be honest. Sure. This is the part where I want you to okay. actually answer the question very very like vulnerably why do you want to have uh 300 concurrent viewers why do you want streaming to be a supplementary income why do you want streaming to be a full-time job why do you want to be the biggest in the world i don't care how altruistic it is i don't care how selfish it is i just care that you know it and that you are honest to yourself and i think that is valuable now you might have thought if i if i saw you not write this down i'd tell you to quit all right this is what i did in the last video last time i did this all right, I had I had this entire okay. Roll my goal down. If you didn't write it down, then you should quit. 
we should Wrote actually do is if you are writing this down see and the you games have not that I yet do gone games. live, go live, you lazy fucker. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Stop doing all the auxiliary work without actually doing the thing that you were trying to do. Just go no, live. No, no, you're no, no. You're the no, only no. one who can motivate yourself to do the things that you want to do in life. If you're trying to be a streamer, you just got to go live. You can all right. Hold on. So, remember, go live. You can do all the other shit, like looking up what gear you want to get and, and, and writing down all your goals after. Just go live one time for me. Just one fucking time. Okay? And if you've done it, yep. please, please go back to writing down your goals, inspirations, and your whys. But make sure, make sure you've gone live at least once. Nope. Just don't go live. try it, man. No, Even no. an hour. I don't care. Just try it. Here are mine. This is actually just a picture directly from my, my goals list. I have a few goals. My goals have changed. My goals are much more broad. I don't have goals based off objective metrics anymore. I don't care about mm. my subscriber m uh, number as much. I don't care about my viewership as much. I just care about being better about what I'm doing. And so they're honestly more like reminders. Be ambitious, be creative, be kind, be patient. Which I, those are kind of rules that I try to be, you know, part of my life. I try to Try to do stuff like that. Because I think if I am those things and I remind myself to be those things, then I will be better at everything else in my life. Agreed. So it doesn't have to be get a mm -hmm. hundred viewers or whatever the fuck. It can be this. It's just a little bit harder to hold yourself accountable when your goal is be ambitious versus an objective number you can look at. Yeah, Inspiration. That's fair. Commit that's very zero, fair. Because I think in esports, he is doing stuff that I would like to be doing with Moisex Shopify. Jinxy, because with very limited tools, mm. Rainbow Six, he has amassed the largest average concurrent viewer base on Twitch, which I find massively impressive. And then Jerma985, because his creativity, Cause it's Jerma. his ambition to do what he thinks wild. of and then make it come to life, I still find inspiration. Mm -hmm. And then why? Why do I stream? Why do I do what I do? Simply put, that's also changed a lot. For a while, it was because I wanted to be a big streamer. Then... It was because I had daily YouTube uploads and I wanted to keep uploading daily and to keep uploading daily I had to keep going live. After that, it was to be the biggest. Yeah, I get that. streamer in the world. And then after I did that, I realized, well actually what I really care about and gives me the most value is making the lives of those around me better and also mm -hmm. making cool shit. So those are the two things that I care about. Making people's lives around me better, friends, family, whatever, making cool shit. So those are my two whys. I agree. Where That's should you cool. stream? Answer. Twitch. Now, this might sound a little bit uh, ironic, seeing as we are live streaming this on YouTube right now. Yeah. But Twitch is simply the best uh, platform mm -hmm. to stream on. It just is. Uh, and then a couple more questions that go along with this. To be successful as a streamer, you need to be consistent. This is just simple advice, okay? Another tip that's helped me along the way, you should be as entertaining for 10 viewers as you would for 10,000 viewers. If so, before you go to that, that's actually a very good, interesting point. Entertain for the masses as you to those that are in front of you. Entertain the, your your end goal. Be like your end goal. Treat it like it's your you're already at your end goal. Entertain for the masses. I like that. If you were to have ten thousand people raid onto your stream, would you stream differently than with the group of people that are currently watching you? If the answer is yes, that means you are not giving your all. You mm -hmm. are waiting for something to give your all. You should be giving yeah. your all for ten, mm -hmm. as you would for ten thousand, because then that ten is how you grow to 10,000. Very true. And the Very ideal true. length for a stream is just under six hours. Anywhere under six hours. Where am I getting this information from? Well, I asked the biggest streamers in the world what the best streaming platform is. 28 okay. out of 30 said Twitch. One person <laughs> Nobody said kick. And said YouTube. One person said multi-streaming. I am not sold on multi-streaming. I think multi-streaming factors communities. Kick. There are times where it makes sense. For example, Doug Doug, when he does his YouTube versus Twitch or an event to get the maximum amount of viewers. It works for some people like mm. Charlie because he has a huge YouTube presence. I think it's better to not multi-stream. This is where I'm currently at. You could multi-stream until you find the platform that you like and then go True. from there. But I think sticking to one is generally better. Nobody said kick. Now, that could <laughs> yeah, be just because the group I asked. Kick could work for you if you like the 95-5 split. But but of the group I asked, everybody said Twitch. And a, and a quick yep. tidbit about Twitch versus YouTube versus kick versus whatever. Twitch is better for chatters and mm -hmm. for streamers. Everything is way more streamlined. There's way more information yep. for streamers on Twitch. YouTube is better for lurkers. Yep. Worse for people who chat and worse for people who stream. And I will say that. Uh, I've done both YouTube. I've done, done Twitch, obviously, which I'm currently on right now. And I've done uh, Kick. I've looked at Kick. I've looked into it. Did a deep dive on some different things for Kick. Yeah, no. Definitely um, 100% with the group that says, uh, yeah, Kick's better. I mean, a kick's, kick's worse. Kick is worse. Don't do kick. kick. Do twitch. It's kick. Now, this has changed a little bit. This is what the past three years have have uh, have done. 
Because three years ago, I, I talked about how you have to stream mm -hmm. for the video. When you go live, you're basically trying to farm a YouTube video from it. It's changed. Now, most live streams are for the clip. We've condensed it a bit. Okay. If you live stream four, five, six hours, what you really care about getting in that time is a good clip. One yeah. great fucking I'm not funny, is so. all that matters. Because if you think about it, most of the people in the world who know you will know you from your clip, not your streams. Yeah. So even people on this okay. list, all right? Kai, Speed, Queso, Jinxie, Pirate Software. You guys might have seen these streamers before. You've probably seen them from a clip. It might have been Speed getting sucked off in Minecraft, right? <laughs> it might have been Kai breaking the record for the most subs ever of all time. Okay. It might have been Pirate Software talking about the YouTube algorithm. It could have been Jinxie hitting his desk with his feet and then falling backwards in his chair because he saw someone in Fortnite with a fat ass. Could have been Queso. Yeah being called fat again but you've probably seen the clip yeah the clip is king so all you need by the way really check out pirate software he won an award at the streamers by the way pirate software uh reasonable would definitely be up your alley he is a lot very knowledgeable he used to work for game companies and stuff i think he would really like it one great fucking moment and then if you throw that moment on youtube shorts or tiktok and it blows up mm -hmm. it's a self-feeding system more people will yep. go to your stream. They want to see the funny moment. The funny moment happens. You get a new funny moment. And every new big streamer that's exploded from the past couple of years has exploded from clips. Right? All these people. I need to get streams. funnier. That's it's that's one of the big things. I'm not funny. I need to get clips. funnier. Sometimes they're not even posting the clips themselves. It's just other people cl posting clips on their behalf. But it's all about the fucking clip. And you can be contrived about this. You can be natural about this. Mm -hmm. You can be an over the top person to get a clip. You can just be a godlike gamer yeah. and happen to get a good clip. But I promise you, if you live stream long enough, shit happens. Shit does I mean, happen. It just it. happens. Shit happens. Sometimes because you planned it. Sometimes because you didn't plan it. And that's just yeah. and that's just what life is. It just but happens. You will get a funny ass clip. And when you do, you just got to keep rolling with it. Mm -hmm. You got to keep trying to recreate that magic. Asking the 30 biggest streamers, I said, do you think YouTube shorts, TikTok are important for your growth? Because I wanted to know from their perspective. Yes. Right, some of these people are established creators. I will say, I agree with this chart with more the yes. The yes is very important, especially now with new ways to get stuff. TikTok and YouTube shorts are definitely a way to grow and get people into it. If you make a good enough TikTok and a YouTube short, which they're interchangeable, you can use them on the same platform. I do. I use TikTok or um, I use YouTube shorts for TikTok. You can get people over. That is very good and very good question to ask and very good point to bring up. This is very knowledgeable. Use this to your advantage. It's still new. People still trying to learn how to do it. Take advantage of it. And streaming on TikTok too at the same time. So multi-streaming, I've seen work for uh, a couple different VTubers because they took advantage of streaming over on TikTok at the same time as Twitch. So that's another thing to keep in mind. 66.7 still said yes. And, and bear in mind, almost everybody I asked has been a successful creator since before YouTube Shorts are really a thing. Yep. And they still believe, two-thirds of which, that YouTube Shorts and TikTok are important for their growth. That says something. If they were big before that stuff became a thing, and they still like, yeah, it's very important, it should tell you. Because I bet they've realized after TikTok, or uh, after big TikTok and YouTube Shorts took off, they started getting more people from it. They realized, well, this could be a good platform to be used. So if they believe it en masse, huge majority, then you should also probably believe this. Now, there's an issue with clips. They don't make any fucking money. So it's still important yeah. to stream to make a YouTube video. And I've repeated this for my last session, but I think mm -hmm. it's still valuable information. When you do a live stream, it is still valuable to have a, a, a goal going into the stream of getting a YouTube video out of it. Exactly. You live with a premise. I agree. You know, maybe you are going to give your chat your credit card. The bones of the uh, of the stream is... I'm not rich, guys. I would love things, to do that at one point, uh, but I'm not rich. Uh, your credit card that Chad has picked out. And the conclusion is the final list of how much money you've spent and everything you've bought. Your premise, your bones, your conclusion. It doesn't have to be every stream, mind you. But if you are going live without really thinking about it, just playing a video game and then going offline a couple hours later, I don't think you're really giving it your all. You should yeah. be putting damn near an equal amount of time thinking about what you're going to do as you are doing what you uh, are, are supposed to do. I, I agree with that. You're setting yourself up for success if you go into it like a YouTube video. You plan out, this is what I want to do. So why not make the stream the YouTube video? And you can make clips out of it. You can do segments of the stream. You'd be like, all right, from this, from hour one to hour three is going to be this. From hour three to hour six is going to be this. Which, I mean, that definitely makes sense. That's perfectly 
good. I mean, that's what a lot of the things like I do with PD princess dag we do the streams to turn them into videos like the psa videos which by the way there's a psa one coming out or the video game commercials or reacting to weird commercials stuff like that we do that to make it into a youtube video very smart idea the entire premise. fucking time you spend working on live streaming you are live and you are not growing at all you're making a mistake let's use our time more mm -hmm. valuably and let's think about what we're going to do so it is more successful long term agreed here's an example which YouTube video do you think will be better from these two live streams? Do you think it is Jinxie vs. 20 Girls? Or do you think it is the live stream called Wednesday? <laughs> just Let's just take a stab in the dark here. Most people would argue it's the first option, and they would be right. 20 Women vs. Jinxie ended up being Jinxie's most viewed video within well, a week. And I don't think the Wednesday that, that video... Thumbnail that, is kinda, did, that, that thumbnail really bothers me. Look at that face. I... Mm. Kind of, that's nightmare fuel if you ask me. Very well. Now, Wednesday streams are still important. You will occasionally have to go live with nothing to do, but putting Wednesday in your title and playing the game that people like when you play or talking about the thing mm. people like that you talk about because consistency is key. But if you're not interspersing well thought out premises with good bones and good conclusion, I don't think you're doing a good enough job at streaming. How do you Agreed. find ideas? How do you know what to stream, man? That's the hardest question. What the fuck do you do when you go live? The answer, you got to watch a lot of live streams to mm -hmm. know what to live stream. He's going to say it's okay to take ideas from others. Watch. I'll tell you a story. I wanted to be a talk show host when I was in high school. Jay Leno or he's gonna go on a story. at my One of sister's those. graduation from Emerson. And I saw him as he walked out and I said, Jay, I want to be a talk show host when I grow up. And he said, hey, kid, what's your name? And I said, it's Ludwig. And he said, I'll see you there. I filmed all of this. This really happened. I'm not a talk show host today. Huh. I thought talk mm. shows were dumb as shit and boring as hell. I never watched them. <laughs> I just didn't watch them. I thought they were lame. I thought they were lame as shit. The, the reality is that I actually didn't want to be a talk show host. I think I just wanted to be a rich, famous person who was on TV who got to interview celebrities. I mean, yeah, I think that would be a cool thing. I mean, yeah, I would love to be rich and talk to celebrities. Are you guys watching a shit ton of live streams? Because these 30 big fucking streamers who are very busy, some of which are streaming 80 plus hours a week, are watching streams daily. The majority of them are watching streams okay. daily. Over watch your competition or watch your friends and get ideas. A few times a week. I watch streams every single day. I'm not even shitting you. My Twitch wrapped. I watched Twitch 365 out of 365 days last year. How do I know about people like Jinxie even though I'm 28 fucking years old? Because I watch people like Jinxie. Yeah. Because I need to know what's going on. Because how else am I supposed to keep Fair up enough. with that and come up with ideas? It can't all come from thin air. It can't. No, it's because a lot of people I watch don't stream now. You all come from. I, I get that. I get 2, that. I've thousand goddamn videos. I got to be watching shit. I got to get inspired. If you're not watching Twitch, you can't become a Twitch streamer. It's also important, though, to think of ideas that work for you. Because, yeah, you can watch somebody, but you can't necessarily do what they do. For example, you if you, you watch me, you can't do, I let my chat spend $10,000, the results are cursed live stream. Because you can't spend $10,000 <laughs> Yeah, I can't spend ten stream. grand. It would be insane. It would be absurd of you to do. It would be crazy. You should Very do crazy. You also probably can't fly to Japan and drift the j because you probably don't know j like that. So if you can't do those things, do not think of ideas that include yeah. those things. I think this is a mistake I see all the time. People thinking of ideas that don't actually work for them. Oh, man, if only I had 10K, I could do this. Oh, man, if only I was uh, uh, friends with Jay Schlatt, I could collab with him. I would get big. So, I mean, there's different things. And so what he's talking about, you don't need to. It's probably going to say, bring them down to size. So like what I did for Christmas, I said, hey, I, I have arrived. Thank you for the resub, bud. Uh, like I did for when I was um, working on things like the Christmas tree. We spent a hundred plus dollars or so, but I let you guys decide what we buy for the Christmas tree. And that was a fun stream. I really enjoyed that. I might do a Timu version of that. I might do something else by that, but you know, it comes down to money. So doing one offs or a couple of those once a year or a couple times a year, that's fun. So yeah. Big quick. What and yes, we are reacting to this. You? you got a funny fucking friend. Do you have a, a love and passion for, for uh, mobile gaming? With the tools you have, what would you make? And you can still find inspiration. For example, last week I ranked every single Flash game. Anybody who's watching this could do that. Mm -hmm. It was fucking zero dollars. I just, I literally looked up Flash games and then played the Flash games. <laughs> it was like 12 of them. It wasn't even every Flash. <laughs> Anyone could do that. So make sure the ideas you are thinking of work for you. Now I asked 
these 30 streamers, how much planning actually goes into your stream? Because it's an inter interesting question, you know? Like, how, mu how much do they That'd be a two-parter, yeah. And for the most part, people are kind of making it up the day of. Yeah, so, like, for me, I do this plan out the stream, but that's because, you know, I try to get ahead of time. But a lot of stuff like today, you need to have backup plans. Like, we were supposed to do Birth by Sleep today. The capture card ain't working. So, we're reacting to my backup plan, which was, like, you know, he said, make the bare bones to turn into a video. Like I'm doing. I was already doing that. 43% of people, the plurality of people, kind of just make up what they do the same exact day. And I'm not e excluded from that camp, by the way. Most of the time, I kind of make up what I do that same day, maybe the day before. Only 26% of people plan their streams ahead of time. 73% are, are making up day of or, or sometimes making hey, up day of. you guys got don't impromptu skills. Out, I don't right? got that. That's the key. Don't freak out about what you got to do. But spend like, you know, 30 minutes every morning thinking of a couple ideas, writing them down. Maybe exactly. pitching it to a friend who's also trying to become a live streamer. Throw your ideas back and forth. This idea sucks. This idea rocks. And just fucking run with it. The more shit you throw at the wall, the higher chance you have of something sticking. Exactly. So better to think of an idea, rip mm -hmm. it, rip it day of, it not work, try something new the next day, than spend all this time crafting this amazing idea you've thought of only to have it not work. Yep. Now we get to my favorite part, the yoink and twist. The yoink and twist. I love it. Step one, uh, step one, plan. Step two, backup plan. Step three, beg. Please. Now I've talked about this ad nauseum, the so I'll be brief, twist. but this is still the number one best strategy on how to come up with a great video idea that is still exclusive to you and your personality that has a high chance of being successful. Mm. And it starts with finding an idea that has worked. For example, Michael Rees made a video a few years ago called Your Robot Ideas Are Stupid. Many people have followed his formula. Michael Reeves is a fucking phenomenal YouTuber. Yes, he phenomenal. is. One hundred percent was Bundy, who made a video three years ago based off it called I Made Your Dumb Ideas in Minecraft. It became his most viewed video ever. And I saw this, and I was kind of into chess at that time. So I was like, hey, there's a bunch of dumbass ways to play chess. What if I just try doing all of those ideas that chat gives me? Also, I just want to point out, he brings up a good point, but in the back here... I forget. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. This was. I think this was um pre uh boxing chess. But I see it back there. Slap chess. See that back there by Connor, of course. But uh, yeah. No, get ideas. Create combined video ideas. You can tell it's not a bad I was idea. Inspired by Fundy for the thumbnail and Michael Reeves for the initial idea. In the video, if you yoink and twist on stream, then you'll be banned because of TOS. Not that you yoink and twist. Million views. It was me but. and Stan's playing chess for four hours. Lock it in. There we go. Tried and true method. And don't yoink feel and bad twist about the yoink and twist. Tried and true. Yeah. Because it's 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 how it fucking works. Don't take my word for it. Listen to H Bomber guy. It's completely fine to be inspired by someone or build on ideas you got from somewhere else, mm -hmm. especially if you're open about it. Famous big boy YouTuber Ludwig has a thing he calls the <laughs> Yoink and twist. twist, where he gets ideas from existing videos you know and what? openly broadcasts he's doing no. his own spin on it. In his video about Stroke that ego, you know what I'm saying? Capsule Hotel video, he happily says where he got the stuff he drew on for his own work. I do, I do. This is me trying I do, silly I do. chess ideas and, and look at all the tweets beside me with the, your ideas suck. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. Look, it's okay to smash ideas together, which I need to start doing more. I just need to see what's in the realm of what I can do. You know, that's what it comes. That's what it comes down to. But this is a great idea. Just combine a couple ideas together and genius. Let genius it be known. Genius. Let it be known. This ain't your original idea. You got to keep it real. I got it from Fundy. I got it. I got it from Fundy. I made your dumb ideas in Minecraft, and then he has a bunch of tweets next to him. It's hard for anyone Yo. to feel ripped off when he's open. My yoink and twist about has begun. Yeah, yeah, it really has. About where he got the ideas. And if you don't take H Bomber guy's word for it, or my word for it, twenty nine of the thirty streamers that I surveyed said they take stream ideas from other creators. Yep. Twenty nine out of thirty. A good. Uh, so they all do. Haven't already Ain't started nothing original no more. Creators and you got to put your own elements of it. You got to put your own twist on it, which is the yoink. You yoink it from someone and you twist it to you. Twisting it to making a, a, it your own, then you were just simply not doing it right. Mm -hmm. By the way, the only person, the only person who said they don't take ideas from other creators, Tarek. And that's fair. He does <laughs> Full just luck plus small skill. I guess he doesn't <laughs> even steal too many ideas. Yeah, Tarek well. also gave a quote that I thought was poignant here. Because I asked everybody, I said, do you have a piece of advice for someone if they were... So this is where I'm curious on what people are going to say. Because I have I have opinions. Um, 
if some of the thumbnail, if some of the things he put in the thumbnail are true, what people said, I, there's some stuff that I agree and some I don't. Live and stream. And he said streaming? Full Luke Xbox warm bass stream. Right? Yep. That's what Tarek said. For some context, Tarek was the third biggest streamer in the world last year. He says it's full luck, little skill. I agree. What does that mean for you? How can you even fathom becoming a streamer if the you gotta get lucky. in the world says it's full luck? You have to be delusional. <laughs> and I mean this very genuinely. Okay. If there is someone who is watching this, or maybe isn't watching this, or maybe isn't born yet, who will be the biggest streamer in the fucking world. It mm -hmm. will happen. It won't be the people who are currently at the top, still at the top in 10 years. It's going to be someone new. Okay. And that someone is going to be fucking delusional. They're going to be out of their mind because they're going to see that seven plus million people go live. And they're going to think, oh, I'm going to do it. And then they're going to become uh the <laughs> biggest to ever do it. That oh, I will do it. I mean, you're not wrong. That's a good way to approach it, I guess. But like, he's not wrong. Someone, this is that this video is going to inspire That's someone. delusional. But you need to be delusional. Yeah, you gotta be a little insane delusional. in the membrane. And if all you look at are the statistics and the numbers, you're not even gonna be able to tr to try. You're just gonna get stuck in. He's right. If you don't be, if you gotta be a little bit insane in the membrane, you gotta be willing to try new things. You gotta get out there and try stuff. You gotta be willing to do it. It looks like he's sucking that off. But you gotta get out there and willing to try new things. You gotta be out there, be consistent with it. You gotta keep trying. Reality hell. Okay, it's okay to dream big. It's okay to be a bit delusional. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay to fucking go all in on a on a absolute hail mary dream. Yeah. And the only way, the only way, I promise you, you will ever be the biggest to ever do it is okay. if you are delusional. All right. If you I'll start being delusional. That raising confidence to believe. All right. Bet. That you hit and go live and switching the relationship that currently exists where you are the viewer to now you are the streamer and people get to watch you now. Okay. And they have to watch you now. And I not can do only that. Do they have to watch you. They're gonna yeah, watch I can do that. Existing people but all the resources and money and experience. They're going to watch you instead. Only someone that delusional will ever end up being a huge streamer. He's got now, a point. not to say you fucking throw your life away. You quit your job tomorrow. You start streaming full time until you're. No, no, you heard him. You quit your job and you start this tomorrow. Please don't take that seriously. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. The biggest. Don't, don't do that, right? You can still be risk averse. You can still be smart. Yeah. But be smart and be delusional. Now, I asked these 30 streamers, what is the most important statistic? What should you worry about? <laughs> Girth. <laughs> if you're going to go live, what, what actually matters, right? For and legal reasons, that was a joke. Average view count. Streamers are obsessed with average view count. Mm -hmm. They are obsessed with it, all right? And even the streamers who prioritize things like enjoyment or maybe some other statistics like girth. Average view count brings other people in. That's what it comes down to. Massively about average view count. They obsess over the number, all right? For many big streamers, it is their whole self-worth. I know streamers who were at 40,000 viewers who go down to 30,000 viewers. They're at 15,000 viewers. They go to 10,000 viewers. They're at 8,000 yep. viewers. They go down to 6,000 viewers. And they're sad about it. Look, I get it. Because it, from my standpoint, from how I look at it, the bigger you are, and depending on what category you're in, like right now, I'm in just chatting. At the time of this recording, I am in just chatting. One of the biggest categories there is, I am at 10 viewers right now. We're going to pull out numbers. I am at 10 viewers according to the stats here. They're not going to look at me. I have to have bigger numbers for people to be interested to come and look at me. So view average view count makes sense. People obsessing over it, not being disappointed like that. If I had 6,000, I'd be ecstatic. 6,000 people just wanted to talk to me, but everyone's different. I get that. And then, then there's some people like my mod said, if the view counts too high, they'll watch someone else. I get that, but it's that quandary, you know, it's that back and forth pool of, I need more people to bring more people in, but then I'm going to possibly lose people because I have too many people here. It's a, it's a give and take. It really because is. Because that's how much value they put in to that average view count number. But if you're going to be one of the biggest streamers in the world, you do need to care about that number. Yeah. There's a lot of things you can do to impact that number. There's a lot of things out of your control. It's not a healthy relationship you will ever fucking have with I it. Agree. But it is also, at Hello, the twice. end of the day, the most important statistic that determines whether or not you'll be the biggest ever do it. Now, I thought this one was interesting. I asked them, do they look at their view count while streaming? I do. I've been hawking yeah, this I, whole stream. It's been I, going up I do time. too. That means I'm generally doing a good job. Two thirds say yes, one third says no. And 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 I think it's a preference thing, right? I wouldn't put too much stock into yeah. this. 
and probably the people I get that. who said yes to looking at the view count while streaming are the same people who said average view count is the most important metric. But I just want to put some gravity onto the average view count number. Don't become obsessed with it. Don't become psycho. I get that. You know, don't don't let it ruin your life. I get don't. You, you got the pretty number in the corner. I use it as a reference to keeping track of my numbers to see if I like improve or anything, but I don't let it get to me. There are plenty of streams where I'm only at one or two people. It is what it is. I sit there and play the game for me. I enjoy it. And if people will come to it, the lowest view counts I ever get are when I do JRPGs or stuff like Palia, because no one wants to watch me play that shit. Unless it's Kingdom Hearts, then a lot of people want to watch me play that, which we tried today and it didn't work. Don't let those numbers be your obsession, but let them matter, I guess is the best way to put it. I guess is what I should say. But be aware. You don't have to know it while you're live. You can look at it after. You can even look at it after a week or a month and look at the charts and see how it does for Exactly. Your but know it. Know your stream. Know what people like, know what people don't like. I talk about this a lot. Everyone falls off. I fall off all now, the time. It's a little funny to talk about how everyone falls off in a video about how to be a streamer. Exactly. You haven't even made it yet, and I'm talking about how you're about to fall off. But it's true. And in these videos, I talk a lot about the how to make the sausage, the how to be a big streamer. Also, I agree with someone in my chat twice said that always got to stream like you're got someone watching. Exactly. You always got to keep talking. You always got to keep doing stuff. Got to make it flashy. Got to make it important. If you are even down to one or two streamers or one or two viewers, keep talking like you got 15 to 20 to 30 in there. You got to keep it going. That is one of the big things big people like seeing when you come in here it's a big motivator to shows that you actually got the skill to keep people entertained even if you're down to one or two but you're acting like you got 10 to 15 to 20 to 30 in there you're doing great the what happens if you do become a big streamer but the reality is you're gonna fall off you're gonna quit even if and yes everyone it. falls off even if you watch this video and in five years you're like let me watch your video i'm the biggest streamer in the fucking world in 10 years 20 years you're gonna be like i watched your video as the biggest streamer in the world and now i fell off so while yep. you're here everyone falls while off you're making shit you might as well make something you care about and mm -hmm. in the past i haven't focused on this enough but it is truly all that matters yeah it is literally all that matters is making something you care about it make something that makes you happy do it because it makes you happy and that's that's one of the bigger things too i really do that that's why i enjoy doing the vlogs because that makes me happy i enjoy going out there and sharing these experiences with you guys i enjoy being stupid and doing some walk arounds or going to bucky's for the first time doing the manga reviews i love doing that i love sharing that knowledge honestly that is the hard part for me i just different mindset and it comes down to what does it best for you the whole the whole talking like you got someone watching even at one or two comes down to you some people take improv stuff for this like people go to improv school to learn how to do this a lot of people that are successful at youtube or live streaming period and twitch they have some improv theater skills because they need to keep it going on the fly they keep it going they keep it non-stop i noticed that with a lot of the good like people that i like they have a theater background or they took like speech classes or they did something earlier on that affects it now that helps them keep going. I'm and not one of those. I got a theater background, is, but I don't being and what you, know. you like and what matters or what you think is cool. Like what's the fucking point in that? You know, leave a mark, be someone mm -hmm. who makes shit they're proud of. I promise you, I promise you, I have seen the heights that some streamers have hit and then they start to fall off a bit. And then they're fucking depressed. But you wouldn't be depressed if you were proud of what you made. Exactly. The only you got thing that to be is proud. The success, then you will guaranteed be sad in the long term. If, the if you don't care about what you've done and what the legacy you leave, all you think about is numbers, you're going to be depressed by the end of it because you're going to fall off. You're going to be depressed and it's going to be a downhill spiral. It's not, it's not good. Only thing that matters is making something you care about. Then truly, the only way you fail is if you don't make something you care about. And so with that thought, I got some final steps. If you've right, what are the final gone steps? through the process, you've gone live at least once. You just tried it out. Mm -hmm. You wrote down your goals, your inspiration, all that. If you're at this point, congratulations. I got one more thing I need you to do. Okay. In the thought of making something you're proud of, okay. if you really want to graduate and become a baby, uh, excuse me, if you really want to graduate and become a big streamer, I want you to show off your work. If you are not willing to show friends and family. I, I do this all the time. Make. You are not serious about what you're making. I'm and proud of what I do. This is a very scary thing to do. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a fucking terrifying thing to do. 
a lot of people tried to keep their stream life separate from the regular life. So people I just stopped caring. Don't know, or their family doesn't know. But if you're not, I that's one big thing that was a big hurdle. I didn't my for the longest time my parents didn't know, but I just stopped caring. After a while, I was proud of what I was putting out. I can attest to this. I was proud of what I was putting out. I enjoyed what I was doing. Everything I did, I am proud of. My coworkers know about it. My parents watch my stuff. My coworkers watch my stuff. I have coworkers pop into my streams. They all support me, and they all agree that I do good work. Now, getting out there is a different story, but we are. I'm on those foundation steps according to that. The trouble is I think some people are meant to be creators and some people are meant to be consumers, and I think I'm the latter. Everyone has their own role, and I'm not going to say which ones are yours. It's up to you to decide if you want to be a creator or if you want to be a consumer. For me, I want to entertain masses. I want to educate masses. I want to help get things out there. I want to teach people about MAGA or give them ideas so they know what they're getting into so they don't waste money. Or I want to teach them about different news things that are going on. I want to educate and entertain. That's what I like doing. You're not proud enough of the shit you're making that you won't sit on the couch and watch a video with your mom or sister or brother or whoever. Or you won't Discord message a friend that you've talked to for years who fucking loves you, the shit that you're making. It is disrespectful in my mind to post that publicly expecting other people to watch. You and know, you that's fair. Other people who don't that is give a perfectly shit about fair. you to watch the thing that you won't even show the people who love you to watch. I find that disrespectful. And it's scary. But if you're willing to do that step and you that. take that leap, you'll be in such a better place. You'll be in such a better place, man. Because you'll be at the point where you're already making stuff mm -hmm. that you're proud of. And if you're not, and they're like, hey, this fucking sucks, then you know. And you can get to that yeah. point quicker. The feedback from people who love you and care about you is the best feedback you can get. It, honesty is a very good key. And that's why I always tell people, give me your honest feedback. Because it lets me know that I could fix things i can change things i can make it funnier i can improve things that is why i always ask for feedback especially in my discord i always want feedback on stuff and i know you guys joke on me but you guys also tell me true feedback and i appreciate that feedback is key on how to improve especially if you want to be the entertainer you want to be out there do the streaming you want to do this you want to do that you got to be open for criticism That'd be amazing. How amazing would that be if someone who loves you could just tell you, like, hey, man, this thing actually isn't good. You know, you could mm -hmm. work on it, change it, do it better. That's great to know. It's going to shatter your fucking ego or it can lift you up. Yep. It's scary. Do it. Show off your work. Exactly. I do this to this day. If I make a video that I think is really fucking cool, I send it to my family in France. They don't speak English. <laughs> but I think if it's really cool, <laughs> it will cross the language barrier. You know, so that's, when I did that's fair enough. When I went to France, I sent it to them. But also when I made the video learning an opera in Italian... I sent it to them because I wanted to share it with them. I thought they'd fucking love it. And they did. It was cool. I'm proud of that video. Mm -hmm. And that, in conclusion, is my ultimate streaming guide 2.0. Thank you very much for watching. A couple things, uh, uh, if, you're, if you're still here and you want to stick around, if you watch the video all the way through, hey, subscribe. Follow my Instagram. Yeah, but, yeah well, you saw that. Subscribe the video. Yeah, what, look, I, I gave some feedback. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't add much to this. I, I just, I agreed. There's a lot of good steps in here. So, uh, yeah, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. But I look at it this way. Ludwig actually did some gave some pretty good tips. Uh, the biggest one is going out there and doing it. So, but yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, you know, check out stuff down below. But the big thing you need to do is be proud of the stuff you make. That is one of the big things that you need to be proud of is the things you do. If you put it out there, be proud of it. If you're not proud of it, scrap it and redo it make sure you are proud of all the work you're putting out there yeah so that was this video let me know what you guys think this uh, this ended up being something i didn't think i was doing today but like we was on about something so let me know what you guys think i love you all and i'll see you all later Bye bye <laughs>